starting with the name of Allah, who is most gracious, the most merciful. Dear students, today our topic is predecessor and successor. This is a very important topic in mathematics. So, in this video, we are going to learn about number one, how to write the predecessor and successor of any given number. And number second, we will learn how to add bigger numbers. First, I am going to start from predecessor and successor. Dear students, remember that in mathematics, the number that comes just before another number, the number that comes just before another number is called predecessor of that number. The word pre mean, pre means before. For example, 5 is the predecessor of 6, 6 is the predecessor of 7, 7 is the predecessor of 8, 10 is the predecessor of 11. So the number before any number, just before, so that is called predecessor. And the number that comes just after another number is called successor of that number. Succeed mean follow. For example, six is the successor of five. Seven is the successor of six. Mean whenever you want to write the successor of any number, just add one with, just add one with given number. Now, let us start from page 33. In page 33, we are going to write the predecessor and successor of the given numbers. In page 33, the first statement is write the numbers that comes before and comes after. Number before mean, in other words, you can say that predecessor of given number and number after mean successor of given number. Let us start from this number, the num this number, the number is 5,648. So, Whenever students you want to write the predecessor of any number, just copy the same number. The number is 5648 minus 1. Just subtract 1 from the given number. So 8 minus 1, 7, write 4 as it is, 6 as it is, and 5 as it is. Therefore, the number before 5648, the number is 5647. Similarly, look at the last one, last digit is 5. So when we subtract 1, we get 4. Here, Last digit is 3 and 3 minus 1, 2. Similarly, in this number, subtract 1 from 8, we get 7. The remaining digits remain the same. Here, 999, 8 would 999. So, here in this number, when we subtract 1, we get 1 from 1, we get 0. Similarly, here, 7 becomes 6. The number before 6 is 5. 
means subtract one from five. So when we subtract one from there is zero, so therefore we take carry from nine. Means when we subtract one from ninety, we get eighty nine. Here subtract one from four, we get three. And the last is one thousand. So apply same rule. Write one thousand. Minus one. So we cannot take, we cannot subtract one from zero. Therefore, we take ten carry from the last digit. So when we take carry, we get ten carry. We get zero here. So here we get ten again. Ten carry from ten. We you get nine here. Then here we get ten. Cut ten and write nine, and ten plus zero, ten. Ten minus one, nine. This nine comes as it is. This nine comes as it is. Here, zero. No need to write zero in this side. Therefore, the predecessor of one thousand is nine hundred and ninety-nine. Whenever you find any problem to solving the predecessor, just subtract one. If you cannot write directly uh, predecessor of any number, just subtract one from the given number. In this way, you can write the number after any number, a successor of any number, number after six thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Just add, write six hundred, six thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Plus one, so add one. Nine plus one ten. Carry one. Nine plus one ten. Again carry one. Nine plus one ten. Carry one. Six plus one seven. So you will get seven thousand. So in this way, add one. With this number, two plus one, three. Similarly, here adds one, seven plus one, eight, nine plus one, ten. Carry one, nine plus one, ten. Mean when you add one in one hundred and ninety-nine, you get two hundred. Similarly, here forty-nine becomes fifty. Here seven becomes eight. Here, one thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. When we add one in this number, we get two thousand. Similarly, here four thousand seven hundred and thirty-five. Last digit becomes six. Here seven thousand. When we add one in seven thousand, we get seven thousand and one. Similarly, this nine zero nine becomes. By adding one, you get the next number, and number after is called successor of that number. Here in this table, students, numbers are given, and you are required to write the number before and number after. Sorry, in this table, number before and number after is given, and we are going to write the number in between the numbers. So the first one is eight thousand three hundred and twenty is given, and eight thousand three hundred and twenty-two is given. Uh, is given. So the number between them. If you want to find the number between two numbers, you can do two methods. Number one, first you add one with this number, uh, subtract one from 
the number that is given after so in this way you can find the number between so here is 21 add 1 you get 22 or you can subtract 1 from 22 you get 21 both methods are correct in this way you can add 1 here 8 becomes 9 similarly here 9 becomes 10 just add 1 add 1 6 becomes 7 here 4999 becomes 5000 here 49 becomes 50 and by adding 1 we get 24 by adding 1 in 1999 we get 2000 by adding 1 in 60 we get 61 so these all all numbers are the predecessor of these number and these all number numbers are the successor of these number so in this way you can write the number before a number after a number between students next we are going to start page 42 in page 42 we are going to learn about how we add big numbers means numbers having three digits four digits so first of all we are going to start from the number numbers having two digits let us start from page uh, part a part a is 57 plus 22 so remember that whenever you want to add two numbers so first of all start from the right start from the right add ones first so ones are here in ones we have two digits seven and nine seven plus two nines then from tens uh, here tens are five plus two seven here's add ones five plus four nine add tens similarly here add ones these are three digit numbers six plus two eight five plus three eight two plus one three in this way you can add all these numbers look at part d five plus four nine add ones then add tens seven plus two nine then add hundreds seven plus one eight so addition is very easy 5 plus 3 8 4 plus 3 7 4 plus 4 8 in this way you can add the remaining parts answer are, answers are written you can see so the next question is next question is also belongs to addition the statement is complete these sums here we are going to add four digit number in part a four digits number numbers are given so first we add ones then we add tens then we add hundreds then we add thousands four plus four eight two plus two four three plus three six two plus two four in this way you can add remaining parts here add one six plus one seven but dear students if you don't know how to add directly so you can draw images uh, mark any objects and then count like this here in ones we have one and seven draw one mark then plus draw six mark one two three four five six count all how many lines one two three four five six seven so in this way the second one is five plus two draw five lines first one two three four five 
then draw two lines one two now count all lines one two three four five six seven so the answer is seven four plus three seven three plus two five so in this way you can complete all the remaining parts So question two has nine parts and uh, this is your homework. Complete the remaining parts, write in your copy uh, book, it's up to you. So in next uh, video, inshallah, we will learn more about addition and uh, inshallah, we will start uh, from page 43. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.